Hey guys, so it's been a while since I have put together a multi-part video series with a project. So this is gonna be the next one starting today. This is gonna be the introduction to building an enclosure for this bad boy and getting rid of that shower curtain behind me. Uh, why didn't I just buy the Tormach one? Bottom line is the price. Uh, if it was about half that price, I would jump on it and save myself a lot of the hassle and time. Uh, but it's just a little bit out of my budget and I think I can make something that'll work for a lot cheaper and probably have a little bit of fun putting it together and maybe learn a few things. So my main idea is to simply take one by one by eighth inch uh, angle iron, make a frame around it so it's gonna, you know, nothing fancy, it's just gonna be a gigantic box. And from there I'll just take sheet metal panels and put those in for the sides, the back, and then um, probably two smaller sides in the front with an opening in the front obviously for the door and then from there work out you know door hinges and all the details the lights um, the e-stop button the main power on off uh, access all that good stuff that'll come later on but right now I decided you know I always stop myself from making this thing because I get so bogged down in the CAD work that what I designed becomes so complicated that I never actually get anything done, it seems like, in real life. So I figured I just need to dive right in, build something that works, and, and get through it. It might not be the coolest, most polished product, but at least it'll be better than what's behind me. That is the goal. So for this video today, I'm planning on just cleaning out my mill. I'll do a quick time lapse, and then I want to rip down this shower curtain, and then I also want to take off all the splash guards, because those are not going to be needed anymore. All right, we're definitely not at 100% clean. Um, and to be honest, this is about as clean as I get between jobs typically, if that. Sometimes I don't even bother to like vacuum everything out. But I don't really want to pull my vice off because it's dialed in. And I think I've got enough out of here so that every time I touch something, I don't cut my finger. And I will continue to wear gloves. PPE is a good thing, people. So next step is going to be to take off these big splash guards on both sides. And then I can start actually mocking up and kind of trying to figure out what I want to do for this enclosure.
right, she is off both sides. Yeah, looking at the mill, the right side was a pain because there was two bolts back behind all the electronics. And the way that you're supposed to do it is to take off this access panel back here. Yeah, right here, this one. But to do that, I have to crawl all the way behind the mill. And as you can see, that's all the space that I have. And I mean, I knew I was gonna run into situations like this when I put it here, but my garage is cramped. It's a standard two car garage. So you do what you gotta do, right? So with all those off, I'm just gonna wipe down the edges, make them all, you know, make sure they're all grease free and everything. And then the idea is to take the angle iron and put it right along here with the, so one end flat with the other edge on the inside lip right here. And that way I'll have just a border around here that's got a nice inside lip flush with the inside lip on the enclosure around the pan here. And then when I run sheet metal, I can run past it down a little bit, just like how the factory splash shields have that lip on the very bottom as well. And that should help all the coolant, just how they have it set up where it just drains down past the seam instead of being able to leak through the seam. So that's the plan for the bottom. Um, top is still a little wishy-washy. We'll figure it out as we go. But yeah, it's, it's gonna resemble about the same outer dimensions as the Tormach enclosure. It's just going to be built with a, an outside frame and then bracing as needed for different things to mount to it. That's the plan. All right, so I think I'm gonna call this video right about here. I think it's a good stopping point and I am going to, without recording it, clean up my mess that I just made with metal shavings and vacuums and I've got parts now on the ground, the two shields, I need to find a home for them and the shower curtains, all that fun stuff, clean all that up. And then next video, um, I already know I'm gonna start with the side rails here and I'll show you the CAD drawing that I've got so far. Um, that's determining the length for those and how I'll be doing that. Basically the next video will at least be the bottom framing of the enclosure and we will go from there. See you next time.